I'd never watched an episode of The Walking Dead. Zombies never really did it for me. Over the years, I've played me zombie games, Dead Rising, you know, your Call of Duty zombies, and Left for Dead, Dying Light, them kind of things. But I think the oversaturation of the market had just put me off ever watching a zombie show. But this last week, I thought, I saw it, and I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. So, I banged it on. Now, it starts exactly the same way as uh, 28 Days Later does. Um, wakes up in a hospital, finds his way out, finds the world's gone to shit. And I've got to admit, it's a very addictive show to watch. Because there's more to it than just zombies. But I have an issue with this show. Why is everybody so goddamn stupid? It seems that the writers have made a concerted effort to make everybody really stupid. They all have a really... Sh- what what you would call a non-common sense attitude to life. None of them seem to use common sense. Every episode there seems to be written some kind of stupid, silly mistake that people make, but it's so obviously stupid, it's, it's how can you do this every episode? But besides that, which you usually just laugh at most of the time, it's a very, very, actually a very decent show. Now, I'm only up to season five at the moment. I've just about halfway through season five, um, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the characters are likeable. Every single one of them seems to be likeable. I've I've not seen a character that I don't actually like yet, which is very rare for a TV show to like every character. Um, The stories themselves, each episode pushes the story along very, very well. Um, There is a lot of shocking moments in it that I didn't expect to see in a TV show. Some really shocking moments. Um, that actually made me swallow and go out of breath for a minute because you you don't expect it. Very sick as well. Um, if I say the two girls, people will understand what I mean. It's horrendous. Felt so bad and horrible inside. But it's a very, very, very good show. I love the filming of it. Um, the fir- I don't know what kind of camera the first few seasons were filmed on, but it's very grainy. Uh, it seems to have changed in the last two seasons. I don't know whether they upgraded the cameras or whatnot, but it seems to have changed its, I don't know what you'd call it, cine- cinematography. It seems to have changed that a little bit. It's more clear. It's more visually stunning. Uh, one thing that does get me is how many zombies are there in such a small little rural town, village, state? It, it seems like they're in this rural place, but... There's thousands and thousands of zombies and they keep killing them, but more just keep coming back. Where are, where are they all coming from? Because you can't kill that many and then them just keep appearing. It's just, it's ridiculous, but it's very fun to watch and I'm enjoying every minute of it. I probably will complete it. Now, from what I've heard, there is another series called Fear of the Walking Dead and there's other two other series which are adjacent to The Walking Dead. Now, will I be able to watch them? I don't know, because as I said at the beginning, there's an overwhelming... uh, Too many zombies. There's too many zombies in the world right now. And I don't mean in their world. I mean in the world in general. You know, uh, gaming, TV videos. There's There's just too many. It seems to be the main baddie that everybody heads towards. So... I just thought I'd throw my two bits in and uh, say, if you've never seen The Walking Dead, give it a go. It's a decent show. Um, It'll make you cringe. It'll make you angry. It'll make you sad. But most of all, you won't have wasted your time. See you in the next one.